Proto-Indo-European religion is not directly attested, but reconstruction has been attempted based on the existence of similarities among the deities, religious practices and mythologies of the Indo-European peoples. The hypothesized reconstructions below are based on linguistic evidence using the comparative method. Archaeological evidence is difficult to match to any specific culture in the period of early Indo-European culture in the Chalcolithic. Other approaches to Indo-European mythology are possible, most notably the tree-functional hypothesis of Georges Dumazil. Pandemonium is John Pavel's word for the mutual demonization that occurred when the younger Avesta demonized the Devas, and the post rigvedic text demonized the Asuras. Neither demonization occurs in the oldest text. In the Rig Veda, there is not yet any hard and fast distinction between Azuras and Devas, and even in the later Vedas, the two groups, though thematically in opposition, cooperate at certain times. In the old Avestan text the Devas are to be rejected for being misguided by the lie, but they are still gods, and not demons. However, in the 19th century this distinction between the older and younger texts had not yet been made, and in 1884 Martin Hogg postulated his thesis that the transition of both the words into the designations of the demons is based on a prehistoric schism in religion. The observation was reiterated by Jacob Grimm, who, like Hogg, considered it to be the theological basis of Zoroastrianism's dualism. Before this, in the 1850s, Westergaard had attributed the younger Avesta's demonization of the Devas to a moral reaction against Vedic polytheism. But that, unlike the general notion of a mutual demonization, was very quickly rejected, and by 1895 James Dahmestetter noted that it has no longer any supporter.